but don't get me all done. Working on a weekend like usual. Hey, if it was us, man, I have some rose with it. Two plus. That's cool, man. Got red bottoms on. Life is good. What's going on, y'all? What's going on, y'all? Y'all just saw my man trying to back it in here. You know what I'm saying? I went on to cut it short. So I'm gonna show him and I'm gonna show y'all how I can back, how to back into uh, a spot like this right here or a spot like that. My truck is set up right here. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is um, I'm just gonna pull up. I'm gonna just pull up and do like a 90 degree turn. And I'm gonna show y'all from the end cab on how I work my steering wheel. So y'all just stay tuned. I'm gonna pull it into one of these spots right here. You always wanna pick a spot that's not so hard. You wanna pick a spot that's open, like two or three spots. Like two or three spots. Like that's two spots right there. I can pull my trailer in easy. So stay tuned, man. I know I'm walking through it pretty fast cause I'm trying to rush. I left my tripod north of Georgia so I'm trying to get back to get that so on. Um, Come on, man. Let me walk you through this, man. So let me switch all up. Okay, you don't want to pull into a spot like that when you first start. You want to try a, a spot that has two spots open. So I'm going I'm to put it in one of those spots. Can you see these two spots right here? You want to look at your spot. Like my door, my shoulder, my door. It's right here, I'm looking at it. Most people, they'll go ahead and make their turn right there. Some people will put their drive tires right here in this spot and then make their turn. The easiest way that I can tell y'all to do it because it works for me, is I focus on my trailer and I pull up. And I put the middle of my trailer into the spot that I'm trying to back in. Now the middle of my trailer is right there. So I'm gonna turn the truck completely to the right. I want to swing my trailer and then once my trailer is swung I'm gonna come all the way back to the left I'm gonna come all the way back to the left and I see my 45 paint that's my 45 paint let me show y'all the 45 paint. this is the angle you're looking for because I want to park it into, into those two spots. So I'm trying to back it right here. I'm trying to back it right here. You see my trailer is in position. Right here, my trailer in, in position. That's the 45 angle you're looking for. It don't have to be a hard 45. You know, it could be a soft 45. Because once you get your trailer turning, it's going to do what you want it to do. So I'm going to get him back to the camera and let y'all see me work the steering wheel. All right, I'm going to let my window down. Because I like to put my elbow out the window. People with short arms, y'all probably can't do that. But watch me work the steering wheel. I'm already at an angle. So I'm not gonna turn the steering wheel. I'm gonna let the trailer turn. And I'm gonna watch the trailer from my fender mirror, my uh, big mirror, and out, out the window. I'm not turning my steering wheel because the trailer is already turned. So just backing the truck up parallel, it's gonna turn the way you wanna turn. And just take it slow. So just take it slow. All right, I'm gonna show y'all what I'm, what I'm looking at. what I'm looking at. Y'all see my trailer? So I'm going to try to bag this thing up. Show y'all what I'm looking at. 
so young, you know. I haven't moved my steering wheel yet, but I'm about to start moving my steering wheel now. And I know I want to show y'all this wheel on um, me work the steering wheel, but um, I'm gonna do it like this. So I got my student outside. He's gonna record the outside view, and I'm gonna give y'all the inside view. I'll work my steering wheel, but I haven't turned my wheel yet. All I did was just back the truck parallel, and as you can see, my train is turning. under my trailer so I can get it in the spot I want. It's all about timing and try not to oversteer. Put your hand out the window, man. Put your elbow out the window. Now you see that I'm pretty close to that um, trailer right there. I'm going to get a little closer, like I'm about to hit it. And then I'm going to use a pull-up. I'm going to pull up and pull out. Just a little bit, just to get my trailer away from that trailer. You see that? Now I'm completely straight on both sides. Now I can just straight line back to my spot. Keep the truck and the trailer completely straight. This is training one-on-one, -on -one, man, on the fly, man. I didn't plan on doing this this morning, but when my student was in a in a tight, I just I just decided to bring out the camera, man. Just like that. Just like that, and I'm in there, man. So, hey. I got some more coming for y'all, man. Just stay tuned, man. I got y'all, man. I appreciate y'all for um, requesting these, these videos. So, stay tuned, man. Got some more on the way. Out. Yeah, so he got her in at that time, man. And I'm glad um we didn't lose our load, cause look at that scrap. The scrap loosened up. I know I tightened it before I left, but the scrap loosened up, you know, as we travel. And that's because there's no rotator in that spot right there. 
So I should have really just um, re-scrapped it and um, put the rotators the right way. But I'm glad they didn't um, hit the back door and try to come through the door. But yeah, he did pretty good on that back, man. So we're gonna go on and let the lift gate down. Now, sometimes using these lift gates, the outside switches, they don't work. Um, one might work to let it down and up, but the um, in and out might not work. If you can't find the secondary switch, you just have to open the doors and use the um, inside switch to let it down and up, but it'll slide out. So, uh, just a little tip I want to throw out there. So I'm gonna cut y'all back on once we get to our um, second stop. We're gonna try to end the day, end the day pretty fast. All right, check this out, check this out. You did one thing wrong. You grabbed the middle one and put it right here. When you should have grabbed that one and put it right here, the middle one in the middle and that water would have went right there. Okay. Like you working, you working too hard cause that water, it weighs too, too much to put it in the middle. So just put that one on your touching and I'll drop these two. So you gotta start thinking a little stuff like that so you won't overwork yourself. Trying to get him the keys, man. I'm trying to get him the keys. If he would have took that water out and put it right here with this on um, rotator at, we would have had three on there. But um, just like all y'all new drivers, man, y'all look for the easy way out first. Don't overwork yourself. Man.